Hello everyone, welcome back to another system test video. This is system test 16 and there has been quite a few new changes. There's been one, actually sorry, two new, new expansions added to the system. There's been sort of a couple other casual changes with just sort of device swaps. But yeah, that's about it really. Let's get into it. So first off with the control panel side, um, quite blatantly obviously, there's a fire alarm, do not switch off isolator now, um, which I think just I've sort of had for quite a few months and basically I thought I'll just put it to use and I'll sort of put it in. I thought it looks quite nice. And if you notice this amber LED, I have now put the investigation delays back on now. So yeah, that's about it really. And in terms of the garage, uh, we've got a heat detector now in the sort of more workshop area a bit. Um, I haven't actually had a false alarm in this area, but it's just in case I do. So I decided to swap out the Discovery Smoke to Discovery Heat. Um, I just think it would just be a bit more appropriate. However, the um, smoke detector on the other end is still a opt an optical Discovery Optical. So yeah, and same thing, of course, with the garage loft just up there. So yeah, cool points the same. I've just sort of added some more like sort of stickers, like case of, yeah, you know, those kind of things. But yeah, and uh, we just pop outside, nothing there. Uh, same outdoor weatherproof beacon. The only thing that's happened here is that the sort of lettering has kind of, can't really see it, but the sticker there has kind of faded, but that's about it really, it's not too bad. So let's get on with the house now. There's the first change. The uh, Soteria multi-sensor has moved a little bit just to there. I thought it would look a bit more appropriate. So yeah, now it's a uh, Discovery multi-sensor because I think it looks quite nice up here actually. Um, I thought I would sort of change it up a bit and the Discovery multi-sensors even they look nice as well. But um, yeah, and that means I can make use of Soteria elsewhere. Now, first expansion, uh, this is sort of the smaller expansions really, uh, but we've got a Discovery Optical just up there. So yeah, there we go. And this cable here, you see, might actually give a clue on where that goes to. So if I just close that, let's hop downstairs to see where the new expansion is. So we've got a XP95 sounder beacon base with a Soteria smoke detector. Now in the living room, our first downstairs expansion. Didn't think this will happen, um, but first wide expansion downstairs. So. Yeah, quite pleased with that. Hopefully I can do more. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, I think it is pretty good that I'm, I'm able to get that done. Sort of just had to fish it down the ceiling with a little, a little gap in the floor and the airing cupboard. I can just get it down. So yeah, utility room just up there, of course. Still got that. And also another change as well. That is now a Soteria multi-sensor in the rear bedroom here. And um, that's about it really. This is the same, this is the same. And cannot forget the heat sensor. And this is the same as well. Now for this system test, I will be leaving the investigation delays on as I think it would just give a bit more of a realistic scenario on Sort of how the system behaves. So the plan is the devices we're going to test is the air and covered smoke detector, the smoke detector downstairs in the living room, the heat detector in the garage and also the cool point in the garage. So I think that'll be quite a nice combination and yeah let's get straight into it. So let's get the uh, smoke detector in the air and cupboard now. Okay, the investigation delay is now on.
No, that one's not flashing. That's fine. That one is. Right, there we have that. Okay, now it's time to test the Soteria smoke detector in the living room. So let's spray it now. It's gone off instantly. So as you can tell, the living room is in zone one as if there's ever a smoke detector in the hallway that'll be zone one all of down uh, the other kitchen bit and slash utility bit that's zone two zone three is the garage and then sort of works way upwards but yeah there's that let's see the analog value for it that's dropped quick down to 35 already so that means we can just hit a reset now it might still reactivate so i have to be careful of that but I need to double check the config and why um, the investigation delay didn't kick in for the uh, optical in the living room, which is weird. Okay, now it's for the final two devices in the garage, which is the garage cool point and the heat detector in here. So let me just get the keys. And as you can tell as well, the uh, house sound is ongoing off because um, I don't want to disturb anyone at the moment. So I've disabled all of them for now, as you can tell by the uh, lights on the screen just there. So yeah, I've disabled the house sounders, but um, now finally, we're gonna test the heat detector just up here. Heat detector. Looks
there we go. I thought it was going to take a bit longer than that because it's a little bit cooler today. So, yeah, that's already cooled down quite quick. So, yeah, it's a brand new one as well. I didn't really want to fancy melting it or anything, although. Okay, let's just reset that. So, yep, that will conclude System Test 16, everyone. So thank you, everyone, so much for watching. And I hope to see you in another video. So goodbye, everyone.